In his first ever season with the PLL, Zed Williams looked like one of the best attackmen in the entire world. I mean, he had 20 goals, which was the most of anyone by a large margin. Well, being the lacrosse geek that I am, I immediately asked the question, why? Why was Zed Williams so much better than everyone else? Was it luck? Was it just being on a really good team? I wanted to know because I want to be like Zed too. Well, after a few hours of watching film and doing some research, I have a simple but also kind of mind-blowing answer to share with you. I'll be breaking down some film to show you exactly what I'm talking about and give you a detailed workout plan that you can follow to become the next Zed Williams. I'm Jake with last weekly and let's get into the video so the trait that makes zed williams so dominant is his strength but it's not in the way that you would expect i call it lacrosse strong you see most lacrosse players i know who lift weights think of strength in terms of how much they can bench or how much they can do a bicep curl but zed's strength comes from his core his abs back and hips when you watch him play you can tell he's the strongest man out there and he can move defenders wherever he wants so he can get himself in favorable spots on the field and it's not just me saying this when zed was asked what makes him so great this is what he said you know it's definitely it's definitely my strength and my ability to get to get to the area i want I was like maybe 210, 215 in college. Now I'm 230, 235, but like I'm the strongest I've ever been. Okay, so now I'm gonna play for you a few clips to show you exactly what I'm talking about. And so I'll play these for you, then we'll talk about them, so don't worry about missing them. Zed Williams with it already with two goals. Inside of five, fighting to get inside. Backhand time, another. Man, what an awesome play here. But when we start to break it down, we can really see what's going on. So Zed's goal was to get himself in a favorable spot on the field. And since he knew he was stronger than his defender, he relied purely on his strength to get him to this favorable spot. So he bulls his way down right here, which is a great spot on the field. You can roll dodge, look for a pass, or get your hands free for a shot. And then he just rolled back and scored. And look at how out of position his defender is here. He's literally jumping out of desperation and clearly had no chance of stopping Zed. Okay, now let's look at another play from earlier in this game. Yes, analyst, so put on your analyst hat here a little bit. What, what have you seen here in the first quarter? Yeah. Well, here we go. There's a goal by Zed Williams. He's new to the PLL. This was another spectacular play. And when we look at it in detail, it's quite simple. Zed catches the ball here with the defense in great position. If he tried to do a face dodge or roll dodge, the defense would probably have a slide ready. But the only thing the defense can't prepare for is pure strength. And that's exactly what Zed shows. Instead of going around his defender, he goes through his defender. And before the defense even knows what to do, the ball is in the back of the net. Okay, I want to show you one more clip and then we'll go over how to develop this type of strength. Not, not over and back because it hit a chaos defender. Only five to shoot. Williams. Shot. Goal! How the corner Zeddy ball game! Okay, at this point you get the picture. The defender is helpless here. There's no kind of slide, no technique, no communication that the defender can do here. If you are stronger than your defender, you can consistently beat him at will. And maybe you won't score every goal, but you're putting yourself in situations to score. And that's all you can ask for as an offensive player. I talk a lot about this kind of stuff in my weekly newsletter that I send out every single Tuesday. It's crazy to say this, but we have over 1,200 lacrosse players subscribed. It makes me so excited, and I'm going to leave a link down in the description if you want to go join too. Okay, and this is where I had my mind-blowing moment. It all kind of clicked for me. Think in your head right now, who are some of the best lacrosse players in the entire world? For me, those are guys like Matt Rambo, John Grant Jr., Lyle Thompson. And what's one trait that links them all together? They are all incredibly strong. They can move defenders right where they want them, and they consistently put up numbers more than anyone else. While most lacrosse coaches focus on speed and change of direction and all these fancy dodges, the best players in the world focus on strength. But now you might be saying, well, Jake, I'm a smaller guy. I can't rely on my strength. Well, let's take a look at a guy like Jordan Wolf, another one of the best players in the world. He's 5'9", yet he posts up much bigger defenders all the time. He's also incredibly fast, but his strength is a very underrated part of his game. It doesn't matter how big or small you are, 
being a stronger lacrosse player will 100% make you better. But now the real question is, how do we develop that kind of strength that Zed has? And I don't like to make things complicated. So here are five great core exercises that you can use. Number one is the weighted sit up. It's easy to do and you can use any kind of weight you want. Just do a sit up while holding the weight and make sure to squeeze your core nice and tight. Number two is lunges. Whenever I do a bunch of lunges, I always feel super strong and mentally ready to take on any opponent. Try to visualize yourself dodging while doing these lunges. Number three is hanging leg raises. These are so hard, but so good for you. And it's definitely an exercise that you should be incorporating into your routine. Number four is the plank. And this might be the most effective core exercise. Just make sure you have the proper form. And number five is the squat. Whether you do weighted squats, body weight squats, or any variation, squats will definitely make you a better lacrosse player. So what I like to do is pick three exercises for that list and then come up with a total number of reps that I'm going to do. So for example, you could do 100 lunges, 50 hanging leg raises, and 10 minutes of planks. Then my goal is to complete all these reps as fast as I can with good form. So it's up to me how I split up everything and rest. I like to do things in rounds. So for example, 10 lunges, five hanging leg raises, and a one minute plank. Then rest and repeat 10 times. The great part about working out this way is that you can go as hard or as light as you want to while still completing all the reps. You can also race yourself for time and see yourself improve dramatically. Okay, this gets me fired up. Imagine if you did this core workout twice a week. In six months, that's over 50 core workouts. Just imagine how much stronger your core would be after 50 workouts. You'd be scoring goals just like Zed Williams. If you found this video helpful, I'm planning on making a full course on how to become a great lacrosse player. So I'll put a link in the description if you want discounts, early access, things of that nature. I also do online coaching if you want me to personally break down how you or your son can become the best lacrosse player possible. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you next time.